Welcome to another session of databases. We're going to start with understanding the problems without normalization. And we are going to see how normalization technique solves these problems. In a very basic definition for normal normalization, we can define a technique of organizing data into multiple related table while minimizing data redundancy, okay? So what is data redundancy? And why do we need to reduce data redundancy? This is the question that we are going to answer. So let's assume we have a table with multiple uh, different rows and Assume we have a column here in which data are exactly the same. So we have a table with a column. Each column is attribute or feature or variable. And all of this data are the same. This duplication or this uh, repetition, uh, repetition of data First of all, as you may know, increase the size of database. And specifically, when we have large database, duplication or redundancy, uh, data redundancy actually can make a big issue for database manipulation. So uh, specifically, the most important problem would be manipulating data in databases. So as well as increasing the size of database. So perhaps in Wikipedia, if you look at the definition of normalization, we call, uh, we define the process of restructuring a relational database in accordance with a series of so-called normal forms in order to reduce the data redundancy and improve data integrity. So we are talking about restructuring. What does that mean? It means you initially design something and then restructure or changing these tables in a way to reduce data redundancy. It's almost impossible to eliminate or remove all the redundancy, but we are going to minimize technically data redundancy and correspondingly improve data integrity. So this is, this is a, just support of this uh, uh, sentence, but the main part of this story is minimizing data redundancy and improving data integrity, okay? So let's look at, the, look at an example. As an entity, we, uh, will, uh, we have a student, and then let's say we have a table with different attributes. And here, as you can see, a student ID name, uh, we have some uh, information about the student, and also we have some information about uh, pathway, let's say, pathway information. So this is a table of having redundancy. And as you realize, from this table, we have multiple information, multiple or duplication of data in link with all of these students, okay? So this is data duplication or redundancy uh, for data. When you design all this uh, concept, you may actually consider these attributes which can be repeated in different uh, entities or uh, correspondingly different uh, table. So all of this name, phone, email, address can be a part of duplication for these tables, which is technically unnecessary. We don't have any specific technique that by updating one of these fields can be propagated to the rest of the table, okay? So we're now actually facing with data redundancy issue. This is a problem. Unnecessary data repetition increases the size of database, specifically for large databases, 
and resulted in more issues when manipulating data. What are these issues? Is something like insertion problem, insertion anomaly, deletion, or modification. All of this part of manipulation, database manipulation anomalies. Let's look at the look at uh, that table which uh, I mentioned here. We have this student table, and we're going to see what is the insertion anomaly. Let's say 100 students, you have, and you're going to uh, insert, or you're going to actually enter all of this inform the student's information, you have to repeat all of these attributes, yeah? So this is the problem. So you have to, this is a hassle. You have to provide uh, uh, unnecessary, actually, action, inserting all of this data for, let's say, 500 students, yes? So this is called uh, insertion uh, problem or insertion. Another problem would be deletion or deletion anomaly in which, uh, let's say, as part of the manipulation of these tables and databases, we are going to delete some, some information, some record, uh, records of this data set. So this uh, database or table. So by removing or by deleting all of this data, Ultimately, we face with uh, excluding important information that we didn't want to exclude. So we unintentionally deleting the last row, let's say, of student uh, record and losing pathway information. So this is another problem of uh, deletion uh, uh, I mean, duplication, which we call deletion uh, anomaly. So, modification anomaly, as name suggests, it's linked to when you editing or uh, editing uh, uh, these uh, uh, your data. So, let's say Mr. Y left the school and Mr. T joins as the new uh, tutor in. Uh, uh, in this uh, school. So in that case, again, with this duplication, we have to edit all of these names, which is really a hassle work, and change it to Mr. T. Okay, this is, this is called modification problem or modification anomaly. And this is specifically some kind of inconsistency in our data. If you, as a human mistake, you miss this editing, so it may uh, create inconsistency for your data in uh, this table. So as you can see, data redundancy or data duplication can make, can create, uh, can actually uh, create modification problem and modification problem can create inconsistency of data, okay? So duplication of data or repetition of data not only uh, needs extra uh, space, but, uh, but also actually uh, create uh, different issues, insertion, deletion, and modification. So now we are going to the main part of the story that normalization will help us to uh, get rid of these kind of problems, okay? So these are the problems, and normalization will solve all these problems. We're gonna see how normalization technique can do this, uh, can resolve these uh, problems. So in one, one actually way to do normalization is that we can break out this table into two new tables uh, called new student table, new pathway table, and as you can see, we have a student ID, name, pathway, and with this new pathway table, we will have pathway information, okay? So by splitting into the original, the old data a table into two new tables, and, and storing this data, we can uh, resolve our 
problem. So this is now a new student table. We, as you can see, we have a student, num a no a student ID or student number, name, pathway, as well as uh, pathway information, which is a link to these uh, three items, CIT, um, uh, uh, tutor, uh, telephone office. Uh, yeah, telephone office. So, and as you can see again, we have uh, still some redundancy. We cannot get rid of all the redundancy. We are going to minimize, and this is a way of, the simplest way of uh, normalizing a table, okay? So, Again, for highlighting, I mean, this is really important, less redundancy or minimizing redundancy and not eliminating. We are not going to remove all the uh, redundancy. So, for instance, if you want to insert, so in this case, we can easily insert uh, one, uh, record, one new record and uh, the Pathway information is still is uh, without any changes, and with uh, less hassle, we can actually do this insertion. So we don't have any insertion uh, anomaly here. So again, for deletion, if you delete this uh, record of information for a student, definitely you will you will not lose uh, pathway information from uh, your data. Okay, so again for the modification, as you can see, you can easily, you can easily edit this field without any kind of facing with uh, inconsistency of uh, data in your data set. Next session, actually, we are going to look at the three basic a form of normalization, three type of forms, we can achieve normalization.